Well, it's Garden Palooza weekend, and we are at a very cool place, French Prairie Perennials in Dundee, and it's wine country, and we're talking with Carrie about grapes. And, you know, I have never seen so many varieties of grapes, and you have really all kinds, wine and table. That's right. Wine grapes are very popular in this region, obviously, <laughs> um, and wine grapes are a wonderful thing to grow. However, they do need quite a bit of space if you're going to get good production out of them. Uh-huh. And if we're going to make wine, I bet you need a lot of vines. So. That's correct. But what about just for table, just for fresh eating? We can just have them in our yards. Oh, there are amazing varieties of table grapes out there. Yeah. And is it pretty easy for a homeowner, home gardener to do? I think they're very easy. They don't take extra care in my particular garden. Uh, and so what would we have to do? I'm a newbie. What do I need to do? Well, first of all, you need to have a sunny location. Okay. Absolute necessary. Um, table grapes also enjoy irrigation. Okay. And Unlike wine grapes, they also like flat ground, and wine grapes have to have that slope for drainage. So uh, most homeowners can, you know, fit that need. Ah, okay. And so are there varieties that you love the best that you can tell us that you're going to have great success with? I absolutely love Interlochen, and I have ah. some samples down oh, here for you. Um, Interlochen um, is one that just has an unexplainable taste mm. to it. Ooh, yummy. It's fruity, it's honey, it's um, a little bit tart. Ooh, a little bit nice. um, flowery, almost, in a way. Nice. And as you can see on this particular cluster, the grapes berries are very, very tight, mm -hmm. held tight together. Um, and the berries are very round. Um, and they're seedless, which uh, is like my part. favorite part. <laughs> uh, you have some other pretty ones here. I do. I also have one right here that is um, Suffolk Red. Mm -hmm. Now Suffolk Red um, generally has, it looks like a flame, if most people are familiar okay. with the flame variety in the grocery stores. Um, it still hasn't changed its color because that's something that happens at the very end. Um, and we're about three weeks behind right now in the okay. season. Sure. So we're still hoping for the color to come on, but um, still very good variety. Very and nice. what I like about it, seedless. Aha, uh -huh. and the last one. The last variety is called Tom Cord. Okay. It's a, um, you might be familiar with the um, grocery store grape called the Thompson Seedless. Uh -huh. Well, this one is a cross between the Thompson Seedless and the Concord grape, and the Concord grape is the juicing grape that most people know about. Sure, we all know that one. Um, what's nice about it is, once again, it's seedless, but this is also one that doesn't have slip skin. Are you aware of what slip skin is? I don't know what that means, so what, tell us what it is. Have you ever bitten into a grape and had the, slip, the skin separate from the grape uh -huh, itself? Uh-huh, kind of weird. Bad <laughs> slip skin. And um, it also can make a bitter taste in your mouth. Mm -hmm. um, this is where you get to enjoy the meat of the grape and the skin together, and it's very, very flavorful and nice. And it's a beautiful color. It is. Well, you know, during Garden Palooza weekend, you come out here to French Prairie Perennials. It's right in Dundee in uh, 99W, and talk with the expert here, and she can get you all set up. Thanks so much. Thanks for having me.